Let's talk about other differences in apartments and also multi-family or uh, single family and apartments. One definitely we talked about scalability. Transactions, you only need one transaction to buy 12 unit apartment as compared to 12 different contracts and all. Loans, you have to get only one loan for the apartment building as compared to 12 different loans. See, it just saves you a lot of time and efforts. The other thing is also manageability. So one part-time resident can be actually collecting the rents for you in eight unit building as compared to you going all over the place or property management company going all over the place to collect rents. The other thing is the forced appreciation. What do I mean by that? What that means is that you are able to increase the income or the rental income, decrease the expenses in apartments, buildings, and then you will come to NOI, net operating income. That's where you are able to increase the value by increasing the NOI, net operating income. See, in single family home, it's usually comparison of the single family homes in those areas, that's what is gonna determine their value. Even though you make the best of the best things, you may not get the same appreciation, we call it, or higher value for the single family home.